Welcome to my YouTube channel Safety Guidelines. I am Fahim Azam. The topic for this video is very interesting and informative. It is very special as it is related to excavation safety. Let's move on. Please do watch it thoroughly until the end to get benefits of this video. What is excavation safety? Excavation safety is a standardized set of safety precautions for trenching and excavation to eliminate hazards and control risks in compliance with regulations. It is also referred to as trenching and excavation safety as often cited by the US Occupational Safety and Health Administration which is called OSHA. What are OSHA excavation standards? OSHA excavation standards are specifications of requirements for trenching and excavation including protective system. OSHA standards for excavation and backfilling are specifically found in Title 29. The excavation regulation also contains appendices for the following Soil classification, sloping and benching, timber shoring for trenches, aluminium hydraulic shoring for trenches, alternative to timber shoring and selection of protective systems. Let's discuss what is the difference between trenching and excavation. The scope and application of excavation standards states that excavations including trenches which mean that a trench is a type of excavation. Moreover, a trench is further defined as a narrow excavation in relation to its length and it is generally greater in depth than width. The main difference is that Excavation is the umbrella term that encompasses any man-made cut in an earth surfaces, including trenches. While a trench can be called a trench excavation and all trenches are excavations. Not all excavations are made up of trenches only. Why is excavation and trench safety important? Excavation and trenching are amongst the most dangerous operations in the construction industry. Dangers can include cave-ins, falling loads, hazardous atmospheres and hazards from using heavy equipment. Daily excavation checklist can reduce hazards and serious risks of injury. Safety inspections should check for the type of excavation being conducted. Support and warning systems in place, access areas, weather conditions, heavy equipment and PPE. What are the major, major hazards in excavation? As any man-made cut, cavity, Trench or depression in the earth surface formed by the earth removal excavations involve many hazards. Here are some of the dangers brought by excavations. The collapse of the sides of excavation, material falling onto people, falls, either people or vehicles, nearby structures collapsing into the excavation, electrocution, explosions, gas leak, are flooding caused by the damage underground services. What is the deadliest excavation hazard? A cave-in is probably the deadliest excavation hazard where walls can suddenly collapse without warning. Workers do not have time to move out of the way and cubic yards of dirt can fatally crush and suffocate. US Bureau of Labor Statistics data reveals that 3 out of 4 excavation related fatalities 
are caused by cave ins what are the safety measures for excavation an osha investigation reported that the main reason why trenches collapse is that they are not properly protected protective systems such as sloping the ground benching the ground shoring the trench with supports such as planking or hydraulic jacks and shielding the trench using a trench box should be properly implemented at all times other excavation safety measures include collapsing should be avoided by supporting the site by either battering them or supporting them with sheets materials from the excavation should be stored at a safe distance from the excavation this will help reduce the risk of them falling on to people adding barriers to excavation is an essential precaution to avoid people falling into the excavation it is safer if vehicles are kept completely out of the excavation area but if required the use of barriers and stop blocks should help mitigate that danger cable pipe and service plans should be used to ensure that underground services are known so they can be marked on the ground or ideally the area avoided entirely around the areas where there are underground services mechanical equipment should be avoided and instead use spades or shovels picks and forks should be avoided as they are more likely to pierce cables and pipes flooding can be avoided by ensuring that there is appropriate pumping equipment so that any water that seeps into the excavation can be easily pumped out to a safer area here are some of the examples of excavation protection safety standards require employers to implement protective measures for the safety of employees contractors and subcontractors before they can work on and near excavations here are some examples of excavation pr- protection structural ramp whether for the exclusive use of employees or of equipment around excavations structural ramps must be built according to the design of a competent person high visibility visibility vests employees who are not only working around excavation but are also exposed to public traffic must wear high visibility vests or clothing with similar reflective material warning signs mobile equipment operators who do not have easy visibility of the edge of excavation should be able to see warning signs such as barricades which will indicate proximity to excavations testing <clears throat> the condition of the atmosphere in and around excavation must be tested to ensure that it is safe even before employees are allowed to work at the site emergency equipment equipment such as stretchers harness etc should be available in case of an emergency regular inspections inspections should be conducted daily by designated competent persons can help reinforce excavation safety protection implemented for employees inspections conducted before shift starts can proactively catch and address safety issues who is a competent person in excavation safety a competent person in excavation safety is an individual designated by the employer who has the authorization to take immediate corrective actions 
to eliminate excavation related hazards that are dangerous to workers moreover an excavation competent person should be able to classify soil conditions clear sites safely inspect protective systems design in structural ramps monitor water removal or dewatering equipment and perform site inspections requirements for personnel in excavation number 1 enter an excavation only if you are authorized to do so number 2 position personnel within the excavation outside the operating or radius of any operating excavation excavating equipment number 3 position personnel in an excavation where they will not be exposed to a possible cave in and not within a distance less than the depth of the excavation away from the edge where equipment is located number 4 ensure there is no water seepage into the excavation number 5 provide ladders or other means of access so that there is no more than 7.5 meter which is equal to 25 feet of lateral traveler distance for personnel in all occupied excavations ladder must extend a minimum of 1 meter above the top of excavation wall number 6 ensure there is an emergency rescue plan for excavations considered as confined space <coughs> how is excavation done safely <clears throat> to protect workers from injuries and fatalities preventive measures should be implemented when workers begin excavating according to osha general safety measures to follow should cover the following number 1 inspect trenches daily before work begins do not go near an unprotected uh, trench Excavation guidebook can help you ensure that your trenches are safe to work in by providing key safety measures and protocols to follow. Number 2, check weather conditions before work. Be mindful of rain and storms. Number 3, keep heavy equipment away from the trench edges. Number 4, be mindful of the location of utilities underground. Number 5 always wear proper protective equipment. Number 6 don't work beneath raised loads. Number 7 conduct atmosphere tests if low oxygen and toxic gases were detected workers must not enter the trench. Number 8 protective systems like benching, sloping, shoring and shielding must be created. Number 9 planning and implementation of safety measures must be done by a competent person number 10 use an excavation checklist excavation risk assessments with safety culture a regular excavation risk assessment can help improve excavation safety in the workplace Thank you for watching my video do remember to subscribe my channel press the bell icon to receive notification regarding my further informative video clips like comment and share my videos to encourage me and my team have a good time see you in the next clip till then goodbye